Before we go into why we're actually here, because yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna refill myself. Get yourself a drink, girl. Yeah, that is what we are here for, oh, really. No, I, know. I feel like the last time that I was on your video, I got really, really drunk. You drank with you. a whole bottle of. We did. Oh, no sparkling rosé. It, well, it was New Year's. It was New Year's Eve. Yeah, well, you it was had New to. Year's Eve. It was the New Year's Eve special. And then I went out and only had one drink that night. Because I could, it was in the club that was so busy I couldn't get to the bar. In the club. I was out in the club, in the and the club I went to was so small that you would think I would be, like, sitting <laughs> on the bar. But I couldn't get back to it, and that's how crowded it was. Damn. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about the season 11 queens. Um, how this is going to go down, since none of these queens watched the two-hour and ten-minute travesty <laughs> of Adam Rapon and Aquaria... Um, with these queens. I am the only one that watched it. I watched it live. It was dreadful. You can't watch it anymore because they took it down. I watched a pretty good chunk of it. Um, like, oh, you watch, I mean, okay. I mean, I watched Jeff, some but of it. also, like, people work during the day. <laughs> I watched it at my desk I while I was doing my work. As I, I had my headphones in and my phone was on the desk and I'm typing away, putting in numbers. As I mentioned, <laughs> so did my coordinator. I know. And when y'all were sending emails back and forth with me on them, I literally was like, Oh, you had that much time today to watch all of it? <laughs> Roger was very busy that day. I was a, I'm a very busy and important person. Yeah. <laughs> me too. No, I'm not. Uh, my boss did keep interrupting me, so I kept taking pause. <laughs> <laughs> dare she. Uh, uh, so but, you know, I finished it. I watched the whole thing. I was refreshing my phone in my meeting, because I had the Entertainment Weekly article up, where they were refreshing, putting, like, each new queen as they'd come up. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, How yeah. far in before you realized, like, this? it was just a total chore? Um, like, like the fourth queen. I was like, I, we can't do this for every single one. <laughs> the interview questions actually got better the more you went on, but the stupid little challenges with Aquaria got worse Ugh. and were kind of offensive. Um, oh, really? I remember when they did this for season 10. They did it after an episode of All Stars 3. They did. Because I was an Albatross. And oh, and you watched it there. I watched it there. And halfway through it, we all started yelling at Jan Sport, who was hosting it. Like, once, like, Dusty Ray and all the other New York queens were, like, announced. Done. And literally were like, start your show! Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> start your show! Well, that was poor Sasha Valor, who is not an interviewer. Yeah. <laughs> we learned that, that yeah. moment. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to talk about these. I have notes from the crap show, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to actually watch the Meet the Queens live, and we're going to keep pausing as to talk about them. We're watching them here. You'll hear it. You're not going to see it. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but you will hear it because it's going to be loud. Yeah, you know how to see it. Facebook.com. Yeah. RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, go watch it. You yeah. can watch it with us. Watch it with us. Oh, my God. Split screen. Um, Split screen. Uh, so our first so queen is uh, Akaria. <laughs> <laughs> I am very white. I'm just going to say <laughs> that right now. Um, Akaria Chanel Davenport. Of the House of... Of the House of Davenport. Have you ever heard of that house before? Um... <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you should because there are three queens on here from it. Yep. That's um, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Her given name, I don't know if you've all seen these, is Gregory Dwayne. She also has an apostrophe in her name. In both? <laughs> in both names. Her given and contestant. Um, she's 30, so 30 years old from Dallas, which all of the Devon Courts originally come from Texas. I'm I think from Dallas. Uh, yeah. Yes, and Dallas. It's, it's time for a Dallas queen to win. We have, just maybe oh, we not have several of them. Just girls. maybe not one of these. I don't know. I don't know. She could. All right, here we go, everyone. From Enjoy Disney watching us watch. Davenport, I, am I love her hair. Chanel okay, it's not connected. Dallas love Davenport. that hair. And There's something going on with the highlighting on her boobs that it's almost like the equivalent of having googly eyes. Like it's it's all wrong. There it is. You're gonna get a lot of this song. No, we can fast forward. Also, I kind of like this intro. Turn it up or turn it loud or turn it down. You're in the, you're in the, you're in the Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm Denise of Kindy and the late Sahara Davenport. R.I.P. They both are my aunts. Um, yeah. And they actually helped me on this journey. Don't you love that hair? It wasn't the dance the thing that great. inspired me or impacted me. But I love that it's like a love part. I love it in the picture more yeah. than I do drag. seeing it live. You know, really? I'm so what do they do to these pictures? Are these all airbrush? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, so is this. There's a lot of looking better in the picture than the video. She's glamorous. She's poor. I love her outfit. She's definitely pageantry. She's big, and as you can see, over the top. She's always I was kind of bored by her. 
right? Like, I, uh, is there a lot? Of, is there a lot there? Was big she looks good. What I say about her? I thought she was actually kind of fun. You just don't know. You just don't know some of these, like, no. you know, like, listen, I still voted James Mansfield in the, the top three after her promo video, so promo videos aren't shit. And, you know, all we're going off of is this video, right? We don't really know much about these girls other than that. But the pageant poise is there. Yes. Yeah. There are a lot of pageant girls on this season. But that makes them boring, because they're not really doing anything real. They're giving their pageant the answer, or so they're just a rehearse. Yeah. But you know, it could be a Trinity... Trinity, um... A Trinity was a pageant, too. She was a pageant, and she was fierce. It's very sparkly, it's very over-the-top. Hell, to me, it's drag. That's why inspiration... Oh, that hair is everything. As you can see from the hair, girl named Akiria, I just love Akiria. Akiria, sorry, everyone. Unique style. I look at that because I love to play with my style a lot. I test the water. See the shading on me. Her boots are good. Distracting you? No, I think no, her boots weird. are good. Well, is that a breastplate? Or no, it's just shading the cap. Is that a breastplate? Well, I'm kind of impressed by that. I thought it was breastplate. I always assume that it's a breastplate if they have a if they have that choker like the Right yeah. Back yeah. But, I mean, I mean, those boots are good. Is that I'm a real girl? Yeah, yeah but that is shady. I think it's shady, right? yeah. Because they doesn't. They don't move. Yeah. So then actually my problem is they're not pretty. She did such a good job that, yeah. that they look like a breastplate. <laughs> She's going to also add that just a little bit of extra where it's not too much. But it's definitely not simple. You know, we saw so many girls come and go. I thought that she said it's not going to be too much. You look at this, that is a lot. Plus I'd like some, to see what even too much is there. I know, what is too much to so you, girl? a lot, but, you know, you have to work a lot. Oh, baby, let me count Just the reasons. Overall, charisma, uniqueness, nerve, If you talent, remember all of the I'm previous me. promos from all the previous seasons. It's not a stitch of me. Sorry, we're moving on to the next one. Yeah, from all the previous seasons, they are enjoying their VH1 money. They are. Like, no. it's, they, yeah, they yeah. should. Yeah. Well, one of them mentioned that they're stylists, you know, helping them, so... Yeah, in this. Of huh? course, yeah. 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 Um, so that's a curious Chanel Devonport. On this stupid show that I spent two hours of my life watching, um, I didn't find out much about her. Yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, Adam's questions got better as it went on, and she was the first one. Literally, all we found out was that she's part of the Davenport family. Alexis Davenport is the house mother, and she is the niece of Kennedy and Sahara, um, and she is third generation. Third generation. Um, she got a weird challenge called What's in Her Box, and she had to literally feel around in this pink furry box and tell you what was inside Oh my it. god, they used to do that on Girl. the early mm -hmm. um, Tuck. Um, tuck. Yeah. Tuck. Yeah. yeah, they used to have things yep. in there to pick out. Yeah. Yep. yeah. This, she literally stuck her hands in it and felt toys to oh. tell you oh. what they were. Sex toys? Yeah. Snake. No. Was what like was a snake, snake, a lobster, lobster. and. Yeah. That's I don't not know, right. Andy's, I don't know. No, I think it was it spaghetti. Was, it was, oh, it was spaghetti, yes. I put it was spaghetti. <laughs> Um, so, so let's look at her look. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna look at her you threw yeah. her away already? I well, I, you know, I thought we're just gonna follow what he was doing. Well, don't follow him. <laughs> Who was in charge here? <laughs> I am the head cheerleader in charge. Yeah, it's not a democracy, it's a cheerocracy. Cheerocracy. Um, in, her, in this picture, her hair looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, it looks different than it did on that camera um, really? to me. Uh, yeah, the part I think what the part was what was weird to me. I there. love that part. I think that's, I think it's better here because it's not so centered. Yeah, it's it is different here in the picture. It right? is. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love her whole look. I like. I mean, it's. I it's, love the it's sleeve. Big, it's Texas ruffle, but like not so, not so everything is bigger in Texas. But it is well proportioned, right? Yeah, like it's it's a, yeah, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. it it makes her body look great. Yeah. I love that. Like it's like a peachy. I don't like her boots. Yes, I was gonna say I love her boots. They're like a her, modern. They're too high. Girl. I think. It's a different outfit. If it was an actual cowboy, it is I different. might get that. Yeah, because that yeah, one that a different would be outfit. different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just don't like the way how high they come up to her like mid calf. Mm. Um, other than that, she looks great. It's a two. She gets a two. She also had one of my favorite lines in her little interview, which she said she was like she was like Diane Carroll. Yeah. You know, cause she so said, she's gonna cause trouble. I came right I come right back for them and I send them on their way. Send them on their way, girl. I love that. Don't mess with Texas. But can we also say, and I don't know if you have this in your, about where you think they're going to finish. Top oh, we'll third, talk about bottom that. third, middle third. Oh, we'll talk about I that. did that exact thing. That's what I did too. Yeah, I didn't do that, but I can do it. You want to do it as we go? I can do it quickly. 
Um, yeah, where do we think she's gonna be? I have her middle of the pack. I do too. I have her middle. So yeah, there's well. 15, so there's a bottom five, yeah. a mid five, and a top yeah. five. I, she's mm-hmm. in my mid five. I would say mid five. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Although, Agreed. If anyone's counting, I did not actually try to do five, five, and five. I, but Oh, I did. Yeah. I'm That's... counting, Phil. <laughs> How are you going to have a top, middle, and bottom if you didn't do it I easily? Just, you know, do you have like 12 queens in the bottom? <laughs> uh, I only have really like three in the top. and Okay. That's fair. You should always pick four because there's usually top four. Yeah. yeah. One of my top usually will be shocking. Like, who makes the song, right? It's the top yeah. four that make the song. Yeah. The top four that make the song. Commercial break. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she's, she's good. Next we're going to listen to Ariel Versace. She already started. Um, she is Brian Neal, 26 years old, which I question that age. (laughs) Sounds like a makeup From, yeah, (laughs) Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Um, in this stupid thing, she called herself a life-size brat doll. Um, is super colorful. She is dating another drag queen. They have a a wig line that they do together. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, her challenge was know your history. This one was really shady. Because when you hear know your history, you think they're going to ask you... Drag like, history. Yeah. Drag question. Not drag race even, just drag. Yeah. General. Right. They asked her actual history questions. Yeah, and she did not get any of them. She didn't know any of them. <laughs> and I gotta say, I didn't know some of them. That's not I knew some story. of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I it was shady. This. I kind of felt bad for her. Like, what were the questions? I mean, the one I knew, they're like, who shot Alexander Hamilton? Oh. I mean, oh. honestly, she should have known that just from the hype of just the hype Exactly, of like everyone's seen that commercial. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amber. 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 Um, yeah, I don't remember what's on the but like, what was what is the Third Amendment? Oh yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Half of um, Washington doesn't know. Yeah. So random. So it was shady, and okay. I call shade. Okay. Trinity. So here she goes. Pick up on. Hey guys, it's your girl Ariel Versace. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I love that hair too. I, I like her. I'm a drag name because I was obsessed with Little Mermaid when I was younger. Like her so Ariel. Really? Like what is this like brown halo? And then it kind of just turned into the Disney in the bottom part of her hair that looks like she pulled it down, got her base coat all over she's it, and then pulled it back up. Pop star. I think it's just part of the the glitter. It's weird. You're gonna love her. She thinks she's handsome. Well, I think it looks weird here. Yeah, I think it just looks weird in the picture because in the video it's fine. You know what I mean? It's the I think a lighting thing. I think it's a lighting thing. Uh, brat style. I don't think so. I think, I think that's a look. Brat style I don't like the blue okay. tips. Ariel is going to bring you this. Oh, this so eye makeup is what Trixie Mattel was trying to go Lisa for at first. Really, she couldn't, couldn't do it. And then was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay with going crazy. Go crazy. You know, in my notes here, I say it looks like she applied her eye makeup with the cat. Everything larger than life, especially our tequila intake, everything is larger. I like her. I like her too. I like her too. I'll drink tequila every time she's on. Ooh, that's a good challenge. Drink yeah. tequila every time. I'm tequila. just really proud to find out here in my bottom for season portion. 11 because I kind of have marketed myself for five years straight. I like drag really? for about mm-hmm. six years, seriously, for five. And, um, you know, I feel like I she worked really hard. I mean, my she? boyfriend and I own our like, own company. Like uh, we own our own hair company for drag wigs. You know, I market myself she for shoes. Looks like I travel like out of town a lot, so I've kind of been making it work for myself, so I feel like me being here. In the picture. So, <laughs> like, so, what is that? It's, it's so weird. I can't you know, tell if it's freckles or hair. Drag, I, mean, I mean, I'm totally okay with it. If you want to, like, share your art and share something that you love doing with another person, it's totally cool. It both works out. We have a great balance between acting a fool and professionalism. You always got to have both. The best of both worlds. I mean. And it doesn't hurt that by day he's a sex Puerto Rican bodybuilder. So God bless. Yeah. I hope we get to see pictures of him. I want to see him. Yeah. Everyone go to her Instagram and find these pictures. Hold on. You know, when I'm dealing with drama and conflict, I'm going to be a little bitch because you know what? I grew up as an only child and my answer is the only answer and I'm always right, so watch out. She bitches, is? Because this is going to yeah. be a bumpy ride. Oh, okay. I was going to be kick her ass and take her, her names. That's Jersey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that that's not manly. That's just Jersey. Now, my that's massage. Mean, massage. She gets on stage sometimes and acts a fool. The manliest queen ever on Drag Race. Heart. I would say that Ariel. Yeah, the manliest queen ever on Drag Race. Yeah, Michelle Massage. Michelle Massage. I appreciate, all different, I appreciate <laughs> all different ages of drag. You know, you have to learn from your older queens, still respect them. And I feel like all younger queens should respect that. But I definitely do feel like I've worked hard enough where I am a younger queen that should be respected. I'm America's Next Drag Superstar because, like I said, Ariel is an experience. And it's an experience that I think that everyone should experience. She's professional, she's fun, she's cute, she's flirty, and she's just ready she to go. She got a lot to say. Yeah, Everybody. Oh, no, Berkeley, sorry. 
Because <laughs> I got a lot to say about you. Exactly. <laughs> um, so what do we think? Oh, okay. The boyfriend's not that bad looking. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> girl. See? That is not what I expected. Whoa. Oh, not what I expected Damn. either. Okay. Well, is there a picture of him in drag? Yeah. So, Chastity St. Cartier. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, Chastity St. Cartier. Oh. That is, he's That's got a lot to tuck. That is a woman. Wow. Um, oh, all right, way to go, girl. Ariel, Vers- well, this is both of them. Ariel Versace is actually not that bad looking as a boy. Is she the one on top? Uh huh. Oh my gosh, that is <laughs> This is there. Go to her. Please go yes. to her. Is that her Instagram or his? Hers. Her. Go to hers okay. and look at the Christmas tree photo. Ariel Versace. <laughs> on, and Ariel Versace. Um, 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 does she have a face picture of a boy? Because I want to see if she really. Because she says she's 26 and from her paint, I don't believe it, but maybe. Yeah, she's not very. Boy, she's she, not youthful. In, she she makes the good. duck face on the. Oh, she's like pheromone in that regard. Yeah, like, yeah okay. Okay. So. okay. She might be 26. So. In real life. Well, in, so in drag, she's 35. Overall, I <laughs> like her. I do, too. I think she's, she seems, like, like, especially the fact that her and her boyfriend have a wig company. She, like, she obviously yeah. works hard, and she knows how to, like, you know, do that. Um, I, that being said, though, I don't, I think she's going to, she, I have her in my bottom third. I wish I'd plan this out. I did not really like that much about her, to be honest. I don't like the color of her dress. I think it goes bad with the leggings. I don't think the shoes fit with anything. I think her hair The looks... shoes are one of my favorite things! Yeah, but I don't think... That... They're nice shoes, but I don't think they go with the rest of the outfit. It is her dress color and uh, her corset. Yeah, but with, with that blue from the leggings... But look at that bracelet she's got. The blue is in the bracelet. It's just so contrasting. And, and her not eyes. Not in a good way. No, I think her hair it looks good in this picture, coordinated. but in the video it was messy. I love her hair. And love her hair in the video. Uh, and I think that, that white. while I do appreciate, she she seems like a very like intelligent, like put together woman, business person, really well spoken and everything. But it's kind of boring for the show, I think. So I don't know how that translates. I, I have her on my bottom, but we'll see. Maybe she's uh, yeah, I wasn't. I didn't actually. I found her more interesting after looking at the Instagram. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> looking at her Instagram. You pretty much feel the exact opposite of me. Uh, I but like I just, had... I just didn't. I, yeah. I just didn't find them. I don't have her in my top, but I have her in the upper part of my mid, I think. Okay. I think she, the thing about this picture of her that I find the most distracting is her boobs. Oh, yeah, because they look... <laughs> they look yeah. like they're weirdly shaped. They look like the padding um, yeah. is... Like, I feel like her shoulders need to be pulled up so that yeah. her boobs are in the right place. Well, you, yeah, you can't... Yeah, they have to be kind of... They're, they're, pointing, they're pointing. They're pointing this way. <laughs> the dress has like a lot of space there in between them, built in, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And what is on her arms? It looks the like arms are just so distracting. I've, I've stopped. I, I'm saying that's just printing. Uh, yeah, I think. It's I like think reptilian was, skin. Yeah, she got something going on. I have her in my upper upper part of my midsection. What about her look? Her look to me is a two. I think it's a toot as well. Um, I think it's cute. I'm, I'm booting this. I'll, I mean, I'll toot it. You can boot in. I'm not. You don't have to agree with anyone here. I mean, if it makes. If it makes sense, it doesn't... Her boobs are the bad part. It doesn't yeah, do right. anything for me to dislike or like it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you gotta pick one. It's there. Mm. I'll toot you. Toot it. Next up is Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Lynn. Brooklyn, no, Brooklyn Lynn, Lynn Heights. Did you say Brooklyn Lynn? Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Lynn Heights. Heights. Brooklyn Heights. Who has oh. never been to Brooklyn Who's Heights? Who's never been to Brooklyn Heights? Yeah. Canadian. Um, she is Canadian, but currently lives in Nashville, Tennessee. Not the Canadian part. That she's not. Um, her real name is Brock Hayho. Which, <laughs> would, which would, also be, would also be a good drag race. Yeah, drag name. I mean, you can change your name to Brooke, but keep Hayho. 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 Hey-ho. Um, and she is thirty-two. She is our first Canadian queen, everyone. Hey. Hey. Representing an entire country. Way to go, Canada. Out of the sight. Um, what's interesting about her is that. Last year during the Meet the Queens, I think it was on the Toots and Boots when Raja and Raven were doing them Mm -hmm. for the promotion looks. And they were talking about Cameron Michaels, who's also from Nashville. They're like, if you're going to pick someone from Nashville, why wouldn't you pick Brooklyn Heights? Oh, Oh, shady. Um, Early on. Well, so so good question. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you pick her? Look at this. This bitch has got it. Um, she has a background in ballet. Ugh. She was in the Trocadero dance troupe, which I just saw here in Chelsea, and was phenomenal. Um, she is, I think, our first Miss Continental winner 
ever to be on Drag Race. Hmm. What is that, that is a big deal. What is that, Barry? Um, it is a national pageant. Um, it is the big pageant for drag queens wow. in the United States. Huh. Um, a lot of people have competed in it. Oh, oh yeah. No, they, that was Miss Gay America. Um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of them have competed in it, but I don't think there's ever been a winner on the show. Oh, and she won. And she won. All right. She's fierce. Um, she had to do a stupid challenge called You Better Dart, and she had to throw magnetic oh, darts God. blindfolded. Yeah. Huh. And none of them stuck to the She department. definitely should have thrown them at She should have thrown them at Aquaria. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Aquaria, but she should have thrown everyone. Here we go, everyone. I'm 32 years old. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I now live in Nashville, Tennessee. That hair Ugh. I've never actually been to Brooklyn, so I'm a bit of a fraud. Um, I got yeah. my drag name from my drag mother. Her I name was Fahrenheit. Hair. I didn't pick the name or anything. She just kind of I love gave it to me one the whole, day. She was like, please welcome to the stage my newest drag daughter, Brooklyn Heights. Very minimal and I was like, like, makeup. Oh, I guess that's me. I didn't even know it was me. Someone was like, that's you. And, and I was like, oh, that's, that's amazing. Her personality. To be the first She's so in drag engaging on the show. Like, yeah. It's a huge honor. I'm representing like a whole country. I have the pressure of the fucking North on my shoulders. <laughs> I'm a dancer. I think that's what most people know about me. She reminds me of, of Detox. Uh, yeah. She has yeah. Detox yeah. Drag queen. I'm a, I was a ballet dancer for a long time. I'm very tall. I was a pageant girl for a long time. So I'm a bit of a pageant queen. Super sexy. That feels weird to say about yourself. <laughs> I'm sexy. I, I say it all the time. Like she <laughs> I say it every day when I look in the mirror. Shoulders. At least, super sexy. At least five times. I love to be fully like covered, you. or I love to be really naked. <laughs> one of the two. Always showing the body, showing the curves oh. and the lines of the body because that's what I love. You guys seen? I saw. Yeah, can we pause? A big misconception. I have a thought. Now I'm going to have no It's going to bother me the entire time. Pause. Earlier this week, something was going on Facebook, and it was a clip of Jennifer Lewis. I think on oh. the, on a recap. On no, she was on like the reboot of like a thousand dollar pyramid or something like okay. that. And she literally is like, she's like every morning when I wake up, I go, mm, mwah, look at the mirror, and I say. Pretty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that just reminded me. Take, okay. Sorry, take that was from her. That was a, that was just a side thing. Now that it's out of my head, I can like Excellent. move on. Comfortably take move a on. minute to warm up some people. I I don't just come into a room and go. Bah! Like, I'm not that person who has to be noticed all the time. I get noticed anyway. I don't have to talk to get noticed. Preach, girl. I like to sit back and kind of observe people, and I put it on the filing cabinet. So then once I get to know people, and I feel comfortable with them, then I start reading them. I say everything with my face. I don't say a lot, I don't say a lot with my mouth. It all just happens with my eyes. <laughs> if someone comes to me with a problem, I will absolutely address it, and if I'm in the wrong, I'll apologize. Uh, but if I don't feel like I am in the wrong, and I'm if they're just coming for me, I'm going to f***ing say it. You're an adult. for drama. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Ready? Being on season 11 to me means everything. Like, I think I feel like I've worked harder than anybody else maybe ever has to get here because I literally had to cross borders. I yeah, had to she had to come all the way from Canada. Let me tell you about crossing borders. <laughs> I left so hard to that. We don't have a wall in Canada yet. Yeah. The last decade of work I've put into this has paid off. You have to like, so you have to totally have to smile and wave when you come to Canada. You want to do if you put your mind to Very it, you want to bad enough. This show legitimately can change your she life. You get a passport. So yeah, being oh here is gosh. everything. I'm America's Next Drag Superstar because I'm the whole package. I think I'm talented. I think I'm beautiful. I think I'm unconventionally funny. I think I bring Do all the to call Canadians in kind of a different way than Next any Drag Superstar yeah. before. Like I always <laughs> say, I can tell you why I'm America's ne Next Drag Superstar, or you can just watch and see why I'm America's Next Drag Superstar. Amen, girl. I think I'm um, honey down in Portland. Yes, you are Next Drag Superstar. <laughs> I think more than any of them, she's the one whose personality I feel like I love. Yes. I could be friends with. Yeah. Well, she's just. Yeah. So you want to you want to hang out with her? Exactly. She's very like just normal. If maybe. I mean, and she, normal isn't like she like is not trying to produce herself. Yeah. Like right. a lot of these. This is who are. she is. She's, she's yeah. just like. This yeah. is who I am. Yeah. That's who I am. What if what I, you're gonna get? Because I don't need to tell you about it. I'm just gonna be about it. Totally. And that's the best. Best way to do it. Yeah, and she looks amazing. This outfit like, is head to insane. Toe. It is. Those boots, I, I would live kill to have those boots. in those boots. Yeah. <laughs> I would kill to have those. And the, the, are they attached yeah. to her belt? Like, does it come down the side? Are those, like, kind of suspenders? Like, it's a garter? Oh, I love those yeah, boots. Yeah, it could be what's holding them up. That whole yeah. outfit. Oh, okay. The appliques at the shoulders yeah. are yeah. gorgeous. I But her hair, to me, is sickening. Like, yeah. it is the best hair I've seen on a queen. 
in a long time. I hope that's like her signature look. Yeah, everything Because it is amazing. Well, and you know, they I all go for, color. Well, for most of them. We know Monet doesn't. But like for big hair. Um, so some, and so Rue doesn't like, like that. So something to see like just... Yes, yeah, sleek. A sleek bag. Yeah. Very Ava Perone. It's, mm. Yeah. 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 The one hair. thing I don't like are her earrings, but oh, it's because they're weirdly placed on her. It looks like she's yeah. wearing Ariel Versace's bracelets on, yeah, her, on her ears. ears. They're on slightly ears. awkward, but they're not enough to really be that. No, it's not that destroying that anything, because yeah. this look is everything. Um, I'm going to say it right now. She is my winner for yeah. season she's, she's, in my, she's up there. Yeah. She's my winner. She's for me. For sure, top she's three. Definitely the top, top but totally. she's, in reality, she's my winner. And it's a two. A giant two. She might even get a shoot. Yeah, that's a two. Um, next, we have Honey Davenport. She already introduced herself on the video, and I didn't stop it in time. I feel <laughs> like I've heard of this house before. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you? She yeah. might be a part of the Davenport legacy. Um, legacy. For those of you who did not watch the crappy video, she dressed up like a bug. I might not have made it that far. I yeah. saw the runway at the end. Yeah, she was in the runway. She was dressed as a bug. Hmm. Um, she told us that she was being a honeybee because oh, that's her that, yeah. theme. Hmm. Um, I've known Honey Davenport for six years, and I have never seen her dress up like a bug. <laughs> 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 Not once. Hey, she's um, she, it for I know. I take that. I take that back. <laughs> she dressed up like a bug at the Nightlife Awards that I just went to two weeks ago. Oh, oh, because she's already because <laughs> she's already branding she's herself branding as herself. a bug. Mm -hmm. Um, They're done taping already? Yeah, it's oh, yeah. done. Okay. The only thing yeah. that I taped well, is the finale. At least it's not a sponge. <laughs> uh, I'm, it was an interesting bug. I'm gonna, not going to deny that. Um, but yeah, I didn't get it. I, when she said that, she dressed like I was like, girl, that has never happened. <laughs> never. Um, she was a backup dancer for Pe Peppermint and for Sherry Vine. That's how she started out. Hmm. Um, raised by Sahara and Manila, she was really throwing every queen in there that yeah. she can. Yeah. Um, her drag mother was Deja Davenport, um, and her challenge was quick straw. Oh, and yeah. she had to suck pretzels up with a straw and move them from one container to the other. And she cheated and just hooked them on the straw I don't think and she cheated. dumped them over. I think she innovated. <laughs> she cheated. She is a dirty hoe, and she cheated. <laughs> How do you suck a pretzel with a straw? Yeah, it wouldn't have. It would have never worked. And I think that's the point. Was it to yeah. make the point of these challenges were to make them look stupid, and they succeeded on most of them. <laughs> she flipped the game over, but here she goes. Be two years old, and I'm from New York. Oh, sorry, she's thirty-two. Um, she's so in I got the name Honey Davenport. Her name is James Clark. When I met RuPaul at a book signing, actually. And I actually assigned my book to the Hunties, which was my dance group at the time. <laughs> and she wrote Honey on it. Was like, her my her eye makeup. Awful. Like, eye the eyelash, eye not the eye makeup, the lashes are driving me crazy. In the corner there? Yeah, the colors of them are driving me crazy. Are they colored lashes? Or yeah. are they? Oh, they are. She's the reason why I always pulled out that Pete Mondrian painting. Oh, okay. Because I think that's what she's going for with the, 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 that eye color. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt there. That she's going for some kind of art. I don't want to say anything about it. Oh, you're right. They are colored. Um, yeah, high lashes. There have been some phenomenal New York queens in the show. It's everything from my auntie Sahara to my drag daughter, Monet Exchange. It makes the pressure really... You don't hear that? Monet Exchange is her drag daughter. My city as hard as I can. But at the end I've of the day, I know it's good for me <laughs> to show how sickening I am. You never heard that Monet was her drag daughter? Monet has never said it. Oh, interesting. That honey you know, is her. I mean, I believe that it could be. She but I've never heard it from everyone. Right? So I know. I know. Really it's really not true. Style from style I've never heard Monet say it. it from pop artists, I don't like the fashion no. designers. I've been the gold, the yellow part is right underneath her. Like and in I the corner. That's, that's paint. I, oh. I try to live my life. I feel like I went that honey down already one the Miss Hell's and Kitchen pageant that I went to last year. So I'm ready to tackle. She didn't win. No? Like no. Because she was at the rhetoric. Right right. Of course. Okay. She wasn't. She wasn't. Who won? I really I can't remember. Then, there was an amazing queen named I sat Michelle with him at the Night Live Awards. Also, that did a, a cell block tango lip sync, but it was interspersed with I'm the Chandler's like, Sugar Daddy rant. Oh, uh, and also a Nene Leaks rant oh, in between. Oh, oh my god. To finally make it on this dang show is incredible. Dang. <laughs> it's like, it's my. She's from New York, right? She's been trying for a long time. Dang. And if you think about. 
how much time any audition video She takes. said she's the it's hardest like working queen you will break one and now, and so did um, Brooklyn Nights. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so it's finally eight or can only be one. <laughs> That's the hardest worker. Because there's never been another me. There's never been another person whose ultimate goal. I thought her ring was a sponge actually from Monet. At first, I thought that would have been funny. Who I am is just simply here to service the state of the world and how I can change people's I love that service. Line. people's opinions so that we're all loved and accepted. And that's why I'm America's Next Drag Superstar. Hi guys, my name is Kahana uh, Street. Sorry. I'm 25 uh, years old and I live in Los they, they jumped too quickly. Yeah. yeah. yeah Do you want to get on the couch over there? So, so honey, sorry, I'm talking to my dog, dog everyone. <laughs> so I put down that honey is going to be Miss Congeniality this season. I think she is so sweet. And I thought she was the most, um, oh, so you, well, obviously you have I something on her. But I think she is going to make the top I, third. I know her personally, so I have, <laughs> I have thoughts. You go last. I thought her answer was the best for when they asked, why are you in America's Next Strike Super? I thought she had the best answer. And it, I thought it was very revealing about her personality, yeah. which I thought was very sweet and kind. And All right. Yeah. I thought she's, I thought she'll be the top, top, she's a top third for me. I like that she mentions the fact that she auditioned, like, she sent in eight audition videos. Like, to be able to still... She's after someone those, that beats her this season. Oh, okay. good. But, like, mm -hmm. to still oh, yeah. keep on going, um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And just think about all of the things that she has done in, in between that time with each audition cycle. Um, so, I mean, I'm intrigued. I, I love a New York queen. Um, I'm not sure that a New York queen will win again, but who I don't knows? Think so. I don't think so either. Will the streets be broken this year? But, I mean, I, Honey Davenport's up there for me. Having seen really? Honey Davenport perform um, live before, so. Well, I have her in my top also. I oh my god, like I love her. you all! Uh, I don't. I think, <laughs> I think she looks amazing, except for that, that yellow. Yeah, I don't like oh, yeah. It's very awkward, but my otherwise favorite. I actually really like her look, so I tuned it. Uh, and yeah, I have her. I think she's gonna do, or I hope she does really well this season, yeah, especially because she's, she's a New York queen. But also because yeah. I think she seems to have like something there that's really, cap you know, yeah. like capturing my my imagination. Yeah. Um, Are you gonna be shady now? No, I'm gonna talk nice about her because I love her and I think she's a great queen. Um, I have her in my bottle. What? Why? <laughs> right now? Right now. Do you wanna Why? Look? Do you wanna look? She's in there. Um, no, I have her in the bottom. I don't. I think she is a phenomenal queen. I don't think she's going to be a good drag race queen. Really? Why? Um, I have my reasons. Well, what are they? <laughs> what, are you her about? what else are you going to share? Mary, this is your. This is your platform. I don't want to talk bad about her because I love her. Oh, okay. um, well, I mean, you already put her in the bottom. She knows where she's at. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Um, I love this look, and I love the cage on it, actually. Um, what I don't love is the hair color. I wish it was a different color. It's a Maybe a blue. Baby, but I like a blue, but I don't like the orange hair. Well, wouldn't it look good with blue? Yeah. Um, I love that dress, though. But I think, yeah, I think she, she is a phenomenal queen. I've known her for six years here in the city, um, when she was doing really, really bad drag at Boots and Saddles. <laughs> um, she did a four-hour show with my favorite queen, who is no longer doing drag. Who? Um, Delilah, Delilah Brooks. Delilah Brooks. She's oh. now a trans woman. Mm. Um, and they had a great show that ran for years and years and years, and I got drunk at. Many times. For years and years and Way years. Way too many times. <laughs> um, and I'm, I think she's a great, a great queen. Um, I do. That's what I'm going to say. I don't know that she will be great on Drag Race, but I think this will be, being on Drag Race is going to help her elevate her drag mm -hmm. to a new standard. All right. Don't you think, though, that you you are part of a drag world that has had contestants on the show? You would think that you would you would do well on the show because you have you can talk to Manila, you can talk to Monet, you can talk to well, you used to be able to talk to Sahara. I mean, sorry. Yeah. But right. you know what I mean. Rest in peace. Like you you can act people who have been on the show like how to do well or how to you know yeah. be yeah. successful. 
And but I but the one but thing you see I that every say, season and it never that's, happens. That's true. I think it's you still are a person. You you have right. to go there and yeah. you no. And that's my and thing is, is you need to be on that show and you need to be your authentic self. You you yeah. can't be you can't a Valentina yourself, and create yeah. this right. yeah alternate universe to well, live in. And Latrice did say on this last episode that um, she didn't know how hard it was going to be. To be in the top until she was in the top. Until she right? was, and so you know, yeah. You, so you know, she, you, you learn. Right. But I will say, having just seen Honey at Bob and Monet's show, to me, I, I don't remember how she performed. So exactly, uh, she's not memorable. Of, the, of the, the not counting Monet and Bob, of the three queens, who do you remember? Um, of the three, um, you don't even know who the three. Were. <laughs> no, I, I, I. So I remember Tina Burner. Right. Um, and Sugar Cane and Honey Davenport. Those were the three. I remember, um, I thought Tina's was the best performance, but. Tina Burner will probably be I on like season Tina. 12, if not 12, then 13. Um, those oh, are my predictions good. for that, because she had really, I'm, she's really, I'm not a huge fan of hers, but she's a great she's entertainer. <laughs> um, she's a bitch. <laughs> 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 and that, and she hit on me. One night it made me very uncomfortable. Mm. <laughs> at, a drag race, for an at a drag race viewing party, and it was so uncomfortable that I will never go back to watch her again do one. Wow. <laughs> Tina, no means no. No means no. <laughs> no, hashtag him too. Exactly. Um, yeah, it was, I was uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I love honey. I love you, honey. But honey, you get a boot for your look. Oh, uh, I toot the look because I like the look. Yeah. I don't like the hair, and I don't like the... The hair was my issue. If it was a different color, great, but I, li I liked everything else. Yep. Next is Kahana Montrese, and this name triggers me. <laughs> <laughs> you, either, you either love Montrese or you hate Montrese. It triggers me bad. Um, her real name is Tyrone, no last name given. She's 25 from Las Vegas, Nevada. So she's showgirl. Um, on this... Dra travesty of a preview. She is, we find out she's Coco's drag daughter. I think we all knew that. Um, her dance style is hood, yet creative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. They always put things together. She thinks that no she's... Sense. Is yeah. she saying hood is not usually creative? Yeah. yeah. She, she thinks that she is the trade of the season. I, so we're gonna I need to believe we're that. gonna need to find a boy picture. Yeah. On it. Uh -huh. um, her challenge... <laughs> this, was, this was the challenge... To end all challenges. Oh, gosh. Because she had to do drag queen flip cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, she didn't know how to play it, that. which is really she funny. She slammed the table and all And the then she fell. literally <laughs> knocked the table and all the cups <laughs> fell over. <laughs> and that was the end of the game. Um, um, but she did say something really weird in it, and maybe this is why they took it down. She said, I didn't win any min mini challenges. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> on camera. Oh, my on the God. On the seat. Oh, she literally that. said these words, and I was like, "Oh, all right, interesting." <laughs> Not picking you. Wait, they do, they do the promo looks after the season's over. What? They do the promo looks after the season's over. No, this was the live thing with Adam. Oh, and Colin. Oh, 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 oh. But they do do the promo looks after the season's over. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Um, I could see it. Maybe she didn't win any because yeah, she, she traded. I could see too. it. Yeah. All right, I have her. We actually, have confirmation as a trade. I had her leaving in the. I think she is one of the first to leave. Oh yeah, she's trade. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm, if you're just, down, you're down with that. I'm down with that. I feel like if you make a comment like I didn't win any mini challenges, you must have been there probably like at least three weeks. No, I don't know. Enough time. Yeah, she's not gonna go home first. <laughs> she she's one of the first to leave though for me. All right. I mean, and oh oh oh, <laughs> stick around. Go that's to her. That's her. You should follow yes. all these queens on Instagram. Kahana Montrese. Ooh, girl. Um, yeah, I mean, right I'm Ooh. a fan of that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That is a man. Um, let's hear what she got that's to say. That's a man, Maury. Yeah, that's a man. So I came up with Kahana, one, because I love exotic feels and, you know, that tropical sexiness. So I needed something that was this over here next time we need to. Obviously, yeah. I'm the daughter of Coco Montree, so this yeah, last name obviously came from her. It's not a lot of pressure to be the daughter Trigger. of a drag race girl, <laughs> <laughs> especially one who's legendary like Coco Montree. You know, she's had such a long career in this business and it's something that yeah but on the show the barrier is set low for you yeah of an impact that she is one of the best lines that Alyssa said to Coco was after she did her snatch game with Dan Jackson very glamorous I'm exotic and doing something you perform on as a career and you didn't win and you didn't win 
I feel like it's a lot of pressure. Didn't even do good. We do have a lot of bright entertainers that come out of our city. We have legends from the past seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. So I would have guessed she would have said Fair Mode. Level. Yeah, very intimidating. Who are the biggest queens? There's only been Chanel, 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 Chanel Jeff Michaels. When I'm bringing in Drag Race, yeah. it's oh, going to be Michaels, top yeah. level entertainment, top level fashion, and also just being that myself. That is not top fun. level fashion. Do you like and, that look? You know, no. I like the look. I mean, I like, I like the, the look of it. On looking at it close up, you're like, oh, yeah. that is it's so very, homemade. Very, it's busted. Very, yeah. I don't know what else is. What is it? Vibrant. Not only do I love it. Supposed to be fire, but her boobs are weird. But they're in a weird place. You know, that boy moves up. Those yeah, two important that, aspects that, of drag is bra. like a powerhouse, and that's exactly what I am. Those what intimidates me most about doing the show is they living look. up to my drag mother's like legacy. Back and broken. Again, the and bar was set low for you. Yeah, live up to that legacy. Superstar. You might you surpass it <laughs> by <laughs> coming in 14. Coco is not a legend. No. And to be a value to RuPaul and to see something special in me means a lot. Like, I get to show the world who I am. Listen, you can't be a legend drink. as Coco after you did so that, that you travesty of an all star act. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> what that is. What that is? Give me one second. The dance in her white night. I think night gift, with my drag, I contribute. Honestly, I think enjoyment and passion. When I'm on stage, it's the one time I truly feel like I'm being my authentic self. It reads through the audience that, you know, look, this person is enjoying their life, doing what they love. And I think it inspires people to chase their dreams and do it exactly what they want to do as well. I've worked so hard for everything I have in life and I'm inspired by a lot of people. Don't you, who love, are don't you love when the queens come on and say, listen, I'm I have a sugar daddy, I've got because, rich people. Yeah. I haven't done I got money. Much. I haven't done a damn yeah, thing <laughs> to work hard. <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna I just don't know what else to do. Yeah, I would have appreciated a query a lot more if she just said all that. Yeah, she just said that. She's like, I take yeah, Uber to the club and I get to see some more dining. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so she's, fight with you. she's someone that I just been like was watching it. I'm like, I just don't. I just think she's young and just. Eh, I think she's inexperienced and it's gonna show. On Drag Race, and she's she's gonna go home. One of the first episodes. What would you think of her outfit if she didn't have all those purple spikes all over it? Like, can you try to like you know remove those? I like her. I like her. I like her gloves. Because her gloves are my favorite. Part. Yeah, if she didn't have the pink things, I think it would be a bathing suit. Cute. It would be a dancing suit. outfit. Yeah. It, a little too yellow. <laughs> it's just it's a taste level thing that I just like. Yeah, 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 you can't you can't it's tacky. Know, you can't do anything about it's this. tacky. Yeah. If this is how you if this is how you she appear, you know that it's a taste. Yeah. Pink seagrass sort of all over her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you gotta be. But everything else is yellow, so they, they probably wrong. told her that she needed more color. Because her shoes are yellow, her trunks are younger, her skirt thing is yellow, the gloves are yellow, her bra is yellow, her hair is yellow. Her earrings, earrings are yellow. Her makeup, and her eyelids are yellow. Yeah. yeah, everything's yellow, yellow, yellow. So she threw this on as her color and looks. But what is she supposed to be? Is it I like, like a, her hair? It's like a showgirl. It's a Vegas showgirl. It's a showgirl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. do the She's feathers. Part of the Little Mermaid yeah. review at in Vegas. Yeah. Well, it's a boot for me. Yeah. Boot. It's boot. I yeah. do have her in my middle though, like in the. Oh, she's, the She's in my She's bottom. She's in the bottom for yeah. sure. Yeah. Bottom. Yeah. 